Good day everyone and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. We strongly recommend to get educated before you start using real money. Uh, we will start with the Precision Auto Trade as a very friendly use with one entry. And it's called Precision Entry because the, the entries are excellent on it. And um, uh, we're going to start with uh, the CL4 range. Uh, the CL4 range is doing very well on the, the Precision Auto Trade. And... Um, <clears throat> it did a lovely trade uh, uh, at the end and uh, it was done by 10.30 this is very impressive and uh, uh, the CL also uh, on the 10 range was done by 10.43 and then held uh, 1,860 uh, the ES2 minute uh, was done even before 11 o'clock, uh, made 2,825. And uh, also uh, the CL on 22nd was done at, most of them they were done before 12 o'clock. So uh, this is really uh, very good. I like it when the auto trade finished before 12 o'clock. And uh, if we want to look to a different chart, uh, the 30 year treasury bond uh, on the three minutes was done also at 11 o'clock, no losing trade. Uh, this is lovely when there is no losing trades. On the CL 12 range, uh, we did uh, 12 range. We had a small trade, small trade, and then it was done at 10.30. Most of those auto trade started five minutes before 10, five minutes before we start uh, the other channel uh, live. And uh, this one here is uh, 1,440. Uh, I always highlight at the, at the 190 ticks is doing extremely well. We started with a uh, losing trade and then break even and then there we go it was done by, at 10 25 most of those trades that were done less than one hour or half an hour and that it is uh, very good uh, on the on the CL 10 range was done at 10 43 uh, nailed 1000 870 and on the ES 28th uh, second uh, finished also before 11 o'clock and nailed 1000 uh, the YM today was really moving nicely and uh, we were done at 11 o'clock 2000 on two minutes this is beautiful On the CL9 range, also we were done within 36 minutes, and it is uh, 1,090. On the ES3 minutes was done also around 11:30, scalping 1,387. Uh, the Nasdaq, the Nasdaq today when we were on the other channel live. Um, the Nasdaq, it was a period and the Nasdaq was not tradable. Anyway, we were done on the last trade. It was at 12.27. Nasdaq 275 was done less than 10 minutes. A CL 45 second, it was done at 1.40 because it's a scalping 48 second. Uh, ES 3 minutes 11.30 was done at 1,162. Uh, the ES 8 range did 2,337. Also, it was done 
in uh, less than a half an hour in 25 minutes. Of course, you can reload and uh, restart again, but the smart person, once he hit the target, uh, should stop trading. Uh, EIS 3 minutes, 1950. Uh, the, um, uh, the EIS uh, 3 minutes here, it was done at 11.45. The difference between those two is the trading stop and the stop loss. Uh, it's the same entry because on the precision there is only one entry. On the ES 51 second, it was the done uh, around 12.47, it's 11.75. Scalping, it was done in 30 minutes, 1000 on the NASDAQ. And uh, the, uh, the, the best really uh, is the same entry, but sometimes the time frame uh, works uh, sometimes when the market move and the time frame they work together and um, and that's why on the five minutes it was done at 11:30 one trade and it was 4225 so it all depends on the market movement uh, let's try another uh, auto trade called the ti7 uh, the uh, TI7 have a big uh, variety of entry and uh, uh, filters. On the CL, three minutes we got 1670. Scalping. On the ES, five minutes we got 1450. On the CL, uh, five minutes uh, uh, we have 1290. ES, 1450. And um, on the CL again, uh, four minutes, we got uh, 4,040. 4, it was done at 11.30. CL 13 range, also 11.30, 2100. And uh, uh, the ES four minutes, 3,187. Uh, the DAX uh, took it, uh, had a loser actually we were doing very fine and the market here we have a losing trade and that's why the delay on that one so 3600 uh, euro and then es 1337 uh, cl is 1160 uh, es 14 second and uh, we had to lose in trade, welcome to trading, which put the auto trade a little bit behind on time. And then finally, when the market was trending, took a trade and it was perfect trade, which uh, covered everything. And it is 14.75. ES 11 range 12.50. And then we have uh, the gold of four minutes nailed uh, 1120 the gold lately uh, is doing very well on the cl uh, eight range is still on the ti7 uh, did a lovely uh, trades and uh, we were done also at 11 o'clock uh, 21 17 and it was a perfect entry perfect exit um, on the CL9 range, 16.30. And then on the YM5 minutes, we nailed 2,000. On the ES4 minutes, 1,500. And uh, also, this one was a little bit because the trades are small. We were done around 12.30. Um, this one here, the ES5 minutes. And the ES one minute, this is where most of the auto trades, they try to hide the one minute because they cannot perform. Once the auto trade cannot perform on one minute, that's when you have garbage. And as we see here on the one minute, it did excellent entry, excellent exit, small stop loss. This is very important. 
and it is 3425 we have some other auto trade made more money much more money but this one here it was the best for today really it's not the pnl it's the way how the auto trade handle the trades is what counts for the rainy days when the market is really bad also on the es you can see the the amount of winning trades and the losing trades and it is 1212 small scalping uh, it is 1080 and nasdaq on the four minutes 2400 so this is uh, the uh, the uh, the ti7 and have a, a huge variety of entry and exit but also we have another auto trade totally different called the institutional this is an es five minutes and this one here also is an es it's the same auto trade called the institutional you can see from the top here this one here says ti7 this one is institutional and on the institutional even is a double uh, uh, size than the ti7 is a huge auto trade so we have uh, from the easy simple auto trades to the most advanced automated trade and then if you look on the es5 minutes this one here is a base on a different entry than this five minutes here and the two minutes here is a total different entry, no filters, but the three charts and there are three different entries on the same auto trades. That, <clears throat> that can open a lot of the doors for different instruments. As an example, NASDAQ, you don't have one door open like some auto trades have only one entry. Uh, on the TI7, you have maybe like around 10 entries. On this one here, maybe you have around 20 entries. I don't count them. But that means there is some entries will work on the ES better than the NASDAQ. And there is some entries will work on the NASDAQ better than the ES. So you have a lot of doors open to do what you want. And uh, from a small auto trade, like the precision auto trade, and is effective, <coughs> to the mid-size auto trade called the TI7, to the huge auto trade called uh, institutional auto trade, and also uh, we have uh, uh, we have reversal auto trades, and we have a very a different kind of auto trade which are simple uh, this one here is also based on one entry called the scalper and uh, so there is a lot of a lot of uh, different doors open to the traders uh, for serious traders uh, to uh, get the idea how uh, uh, what he wants to do uh, from a trader has two thousand dollar or a trader has uh, um, $250,000 uh, they can cut the auto trade to uh, his budget and then he can uh, decide the risk he want to take or he want to use filters uh, to avoid uh, some of the trades I mean um, you can adjust your daily profit your daily losses uh, you can optimize it and if you don't want to optimize especially the scalper you can put it on zero 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 you find any time frame you like and then you start testing it and you're ready with it so there is a lot of um, um, options for the trader to make his life a little bit easier and um, and if he we what we do also we provide 
education updates constantly to uh, this person. We do our job and the trader has to do his job, uh, learn the market, learn how the market behave. <laughs> All those scalpers you can use on a total different time frame on uh, any kind of instruments you like, whether you like micro account or you like um, um, mini, uh, you can trade on NASDAQ, Russell, whatever you want, you can do that. And uh, we show just a couple charts on the scalper. Uh, so this is can help the trader you can see it was beautiful and we had a losing trade here to start with and um, this one here is the gold uh, they do good very good job the scalper and um, this one here it is small trade on the eight range uh, you can do whatever you want i mean there is so many ways for the trader uh, to upgrade himself to professional level, not staying amateur with just an ATR entry and trying to take the whole market with an ATR entry. Those uh, older age, 20 years old, I mean, they're not going to work in 2022. So there is a huge variety of filter and entry for that trader to understand or to cut it the trade the way he wants it and how he wanted uh, to maintain the auto trade optimize the auto trade and uh, and um, and uh, the risk reward how much risk he is going to take what is his daily target what is his budget so all this uh, we we teach you how to do that uh, folks that's all what we have for you today and um, I mean, I can show you also on the signal entry, the signal entry, uh, there is um, uh, five different automated trade uh, based on FIBS. And um, uh, this is the NASDAQ, uh, this is the gold. And, um, and on this uh, type of an auto trade, you can uh, adjust the trading stop, stop loss, on this kind of auto trader, not like this one here, you uh, you adjust it. Uh, on on uh, this kind of auto trade, uh, you increase if you want to. Uh, this one cannot be optimized. You just turn it on and off. You cannot do anything with it. But where you can change a different time frame, you can trade on the 15 second or one minute or two minutes or three minutes. And uh, uh, it, it does uh, do amazing job. And then what you do when you enter the trade, you play around the fibs and, and uh, monitor the instruments. Folks, that's all what we have. We wish you a happy weekend, a pleasant weekend, and a safe weekend. I say thank you very much, and God bless you all. Bye for now.